HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. And AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So if someone becomes HIV infected, they've been infected with a virus that is, um, in the past, was deadly. And it, it's a very um, tricky and intelligent virus that produces by going into your CD4 count. And as it produces, it kills off your CD4 count. So someone can live with HIV, what they used to call a latent period, for up to approximately 10 years with virtually no symptoms. But the virus is producing all the time new replications of itself. And some of those replications are mutations, because with producing several, several billion cells a day out of the virus virons a day, and that's what they call the viral load. And one of the things um, you test for, for the length of HIV and AIDS, is CD4 count, because they're the cells that are under attack, and also the viral load, which measures those billions of cells that are being made daily. And what they're aiming for is to see how the viral load is suppressed, usually with the medications, um, and what the CD4 count is. Because once your CD4 count goes under 200, that's the definition of AIDS. That are, are in combination with different opportunistic infections, that as your system wears down, your, your autoimmune system wears down, you are more susceptible to diseases. The CD4 count is the main uh, cell in the body in the immune system that fights diseases. And they're memory cells. And so as a child, for example, when you have uh, a, an illness, a cold, your CD4 count learns what that cold is so it can fight it in the future. And these are the cells that are always in defense of the body's health system. So as that decreases, then you are more and more susceptible. So the CD4 count is vital, and it's the one cell that the, the HIV virus attacks.